watches this channel. Anyway, this is a Merry Christmas treat tonight. Oh, a special in-depth interview with me and a famous guy who you'll see in just a second. Oh, he's really famous. We got about the most famous people at all on this station. Oh, they're good people. Anyway, keep watching and have a good Christmas maybe and a good new year. Anything's better than the last one. Anyway, okay, here he is. Welcome everybody to a special edition of Ah, Christmas with Chester. Oh, it's a new thing. It'll be carols and singing and dancing and wine and booze. And Speaking of booze, we have a guest tonight that's been an old buddy of mine since I think about 19 and 14 we met. And uh, he's a good guy most of the year. But a couple of days he lets loose, but that's okay. But here he is for all the boys and girls, young and old. A famous guy all the way from the North Pole. Here he is. Mr. Santa Claus. Ho, 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 ho. Merry Christmas, Chester. How are you? Well, yeah, not too good. Anyway, unless you got a spare spare prostate hanging around somewhere. <laughs> oh, I heard you had some problems. Oh, I had a little problem in the plumbing there, but I'm all better now. Thanks to my stunt double, he went and took the surgery for me, eh? That is a good move oh, on my oh, part. Oh. Anyway, he's doing all right, too. But look at Santa. I'm glad we have you on here. And uh, it's a time of year where people get together, but not this year, apparently. No one's getting together when they shouldn't be because of this disease stuff that's floating around the air. I don't see you're not wearing a mask on the North Pole there, but I guess that's okay. The elves, they might get Inside sick. my house, and it's just you and I. Oh, the elves. Where are the elves, by the way? The elves are all in the workshop. The little people, or can you say little people anymore? They're elves. They're elves, but they're little things, aren't they? Smaller? Uh, smaller than me. Well, well, I'll tell you, there's some galaxies smaller than you, Santa Claus. Anyway, we're, we're not talking about your weight right now because you're basically filling up a whole 16 by 9 screen with a girth on you. The gravitational pull on that sleigh. You might have got like 38 reindeer now to pull that son of a gun. Anyway, let's Chester, talk... Chester, Chester. Oh, I know. I, I'm being a mean again, aren't I? You're going to get on the naughty list. Well, I know. I don't think I've ever been off it, really. But uh, I think I got a present back in 19 and 22. That was the last one. Yeah, that's probably your right. You're right. 19 and 22. Uh, and you know what? You had the awesomest voice I knew when you were singing. You know what? I used to be a good singer. I'm wondering now. what happened now with your Tapioca Talent Tuesdays I've been watching. Well, you're, so you're, you're going to attack me. You're going to attack me, are you? Well, I'm just saying, Chester. Anyway, talking about your weight, how's that sugar diabetes coming there? Oh, I'm fine. You know what? I got my diet of milk cookies and the occasional, you know, snack. A snack. I don't think they call it snack when you go to the Golden Corral for 28 days in a row. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're a funny one there, Chester. Well, there's some, I know buffets have closed after you've gone, but anyway. Out of business. But anyway, let's talk about Christmas time. Now, this is the time of year where I'm starting to worry that with all this, you know, left-wing weirdo stuff, cancel culture, are they going to cancel Santa Claus because you represent Christmas, which are you, can you say Christmas anymore? I always say Christmas, Chester. It's Merry Christmas. <laughs> because why? It's Christmas, right? Because it's Christmas. Yeah, there you go. So we should be able to say it without getting, you know, a rock thrown at us or something. Now, what about you this problem you've had with... Of skin. Well, I'll get under your skin, all right, with this next question. And I got some uh, information that uh, Mrs. Claus has been a little bit uh, wandering as of late, so to speak. I'm sorry to bring that up. I know uh, it's, a, it's a hurtful thing. You know, Mrs. Chester, Chester, Chester. Well, you've been married to the same woman for how many hundred years? Yep. Yeah, well, that's a long time. And you're traveling and seeing all these wives at Christmas Eve going down the chimney and stuff. I don't know what you're doing. 
Chester, I'm too busy to do anything but deliver presents and Christmas toys. Oh, no, yeah, I've, yeah, I've heard that from every guy in the world. Couldn't be me. I was too busy. I was too busy to... Yeah, you know what. Anyway, let's talk a little bit about... Oh, that was a jolly laugh there. I liked everything was moving in unison there. It was yeah, pretty nice there. Look, got the moves on you. But anyway, oh. let's talk a little bit about your uh, your upcoming uh, run here on this this Christmas Eve. You got everything set with all this disease in the world. How are you going to handle this uh, social distancing? Well, let me tell you, Chester, I've got clearance to go all around the world. All the countries of the world are giving me clearance to land there and deliver presents to everybody. Well, not all the I'll countries. I'll traveling in my sleigh, wearing a mask, and keeping social distances in every home I go to. Yeah, there are some countries that would shoot you down rather than say hello because they don't believe in you. You got any aircraft on that gun flak and, uh, you know, you know, and tracers and stuff? Chester, Chester, Chester. Yeah, I'm just trying to bring up the truth of the world, not sugarcoat everything. Except you're used to sugarcoating everything. You look at the size of you. But, I, you know, I should buy some stock in old sugar mines or whatever they mine it from. I don't know. Where do they mine sugar from? I believe they grow cane sugar and stuff like that in other countries in the world. Yeah, you'd know that because you're a rum drinker. <laughs> I've had a few in my day, Chester, but I wouldn't say that I drink it all the time. I'm a kind of a milk and cookies kind of guy. Yeah, milk, cookies, and booze. And Coke. What do you got in front of you now? Is there a Coke uh, or milk, or what do you got there? I don't have anything. In front I of thought you. I saw something there. What do you got there? I don't have anything you, in front of you, Chester. Santa cannot lie. Santa does not have anything in front of Santa, me. Santa, show me what I, you got in your hand. Show me. Show you what? What you got in your hand. Oh, jeez. Look at those bits on you. Yeah, you could cut off a finger and feed an entire country of those things. And you got uh, gams on you like you wouldn't never seem before in my life. Chester, Santa doesn't drink. I drink a lot of milk, and I eat a lot of cookies. Okay, we're going to a commercial right now, Santa, so uh, we'll just go to a commercial right now, and we'll be right back, folks. You know who else is on my naughty list? Who? Oh. Chester Fields. Why is Chester Fields? Why? Because I tell the truth and let people know the hard facts in life? I think you're a fat bastard. Well, if I'm fat... What are you? I'm, I'm jolly. You're jolly fat, as the English would say. I'm jolly. You're jolly fat, old boy. You're jolly fat, old boy. Chip, chip, cheerio. Uh, I'm only jolly and fat because I eat the tapioca pudding. Is it the booze talking or the tapioca? There's no booze talking. What are you talking about booze? I don't have any booze. No? Are you on drugs? Drugs. Who needs drugs? I got booze. <laughs> I know. That's, ooh, that looks like... Nice Kentucky liquor there. Oh, 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 it's the best. That makes you ho ho ho, doesn't it? Oh, it makes me ho 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 ho. Yeah, it makes you chase the ho ho hos. Ho 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 ho. I've seen you chase a few of those in my day too, Santa. How much you paying me for this, by the way, Chester? Yeah, we're gonna give you a donation from the home here. We got quite a bit of money here and some teeth and stuff, gold teeth and and. Uh, other stuff, and we'll pay you up good. Don't worry. Why? Because you look like you're drunk. I'm not drunk. No. Who's drunk? Oh, tipsy. You're a little tipsy. I uh, just, I'm happy. Yeah, you're a happy Santa. Happy, jolly, ho, ho, ho. A ho, ho, ho. Okay. Man, I won't put this on the air. Don't worry. This is not going on the air. Oh, a little Captain Morgan Dark you got going there. Oh, yeah, the old Rumsky. Anyway. We'll talk to you later, Sandy. We'll get together there. We're going to that strip club, aren't we, later and stuff? Are we going to the one on St. Catherine Street again? Well, yeah, but the COVID, eh? You, you, you can't go, eh? Oh. You got face masks, they got face masks up there and face masks down there, too, at oh. the same time. One guy eats a bat and wrecks this whole thing for everybody. Yeah, one bat and that's it. Yeah, stupid bastards. But anyway, they don't like Christmas over there anyway. It's again the law. It's again the law over there. But, uh, anyway. All right. Let's see if that worked in there. We'll talk to you later there, Santy, on the clause. All right. Have, have a Merry Christmas, Chester. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. I didn't want to tell the people this, but uh, 
You sort of look like Pierre Mucktuck, not Santa Claus. Hey, Pierre Mucktuck. Now you sound like him. Who's that guy? That's the guy that's hiding from the police here, from the murders. He's been hiding out at the North Pole, pretending to be Santa. I'm not Pierre Mucktuck there, Chester. What are you, Randy from the Trailer Park Boys? You look like him. Not him either. No? You've got a mistaken identity happening yeah, here. Yeah, I recognize that wall behind you on your other interview. Yeah, you're down in the basement. I know where you are. Just you a, better let me out, Chester. No, you're a good Christmas Santa, but uh, you just stay down there. You free Pierre. That's all I gotta say. Everybody, start the campaign. Free Pierre. Yeah, Pierre Trudeau. That's the year, That's who you like, you liberal bastard. Can't believe it. You turned bad on me, Pierre. You turned bad. I hate you, Chester. You are drinking though, pretty good, eh? A little bit. Yeah. <laughs> I would there's be too. If I there's was nothing space. else to do in this damp, dirty, dark basement. We got a nice tree and a penguin up there for company. Yeah. yeah. He doesn't talk much though, the penguin. No, oh, and he's a bit stupid, eh? Yeah. You can't say deaf and dumb either anymore, probably. No, it's too politically correct. Too, that's incorrect, yeah. I don't know how we're even supposed to talk anymore. I don't know. Yeah. Anyway. You stay down there and keep the fires burning in the boiler room, and we'll let you out after Christmas. All right, everybody, remember, free P.E.R. Free P.E.R. Free P.E.R. Yeah, I'll free you all right beside the head, you bastard.